In this video, I'm gonna talk about where I put my content online and why. So since you're watching this video, I'll start with video first. I put my videos onto two platforms online, YouTube and Facebook. For YouTube, the reason I put it on YouTube is because it is, I've noticed that it's a wonderful long-term search engine for videos. Um, some of my most popular videos were uploaded a year ago, two, three, even four or five years ago. And so YouTube is excellent for long-term discoverability from the people who might be interested in your content. For the short term though, I've noticed YouTube isn't very good. Uh, if you're just getting started on YouTube and you only have a few subscribers, a few dozen, a few hundred subscribers, you might get only a few views within a week or two of uploading your YouTube video. And that's normal on YouTube, okay? Unless you do other kinds of promotion of your YouTube video. In the short term, you'll get a lot more views, and I've discovered that happens to me, a lot more views on Facebook. Now, whether you upload it, now the, here's the key. When you put videos on, onto Facebook, you need to upload it directly onto Facebook. Do not post a YouTube link onto Facebook because you'll get very few views. But if you upload the, direct, the video directly to Facebook, whether you're putting it on your personal timeline or you're putting it on your business page, you'll get a lot more views in the first couple of weeks compared to, to, to YouTube. However, like I said, over the months or the years, your YouTube video will probably get more views, especially if you title the video with um, the keywords that people are searching for that are related to your video. Now, don't just title the video for lots of people finding it. You gotta make the title of the video relevant to the video itself so that people don't, you know, thumbs down the video. Um, so YouTube for long-term discoverability and Facebook for short-term video views. Uh, I put my, my Facebook videos directly on my business page because I've really trained my audience to follow my content on my Facebook business page. If I put something on my Facebook personal profile, it's getting less views now than my business page. Okay, so that's what I do with videos. What about my writing? Um, a couple of people have asked me, George, why do you put your writings on medium.com and not directly on your website, right? Because you'll find, if you, if you find me on medium.com, that's where I put all of my newest articles. And on my website, I only put one article. I, I, put, I, I write three articles per week and I put that on medium. I only put one article per week on my website. So why is, why is that? First of all, I, I'll say this, the reason I'm doing it might not be what you want it, the way I'm doing it might not be how you want to do it, okay? And you might be surprised to hear me say that because not, there is no one single marketing formula for everybody. It depends on your business priorities. For some of my clients, I'll say, hey, it's better for search engine optimization if you put your articles directly on your own website. It's true. I'm not, the way I'm doing it is not good for SEO. It's not good for search engine optimization. However, the reason I do it is because my articles look better on medium.com. It's a better reading experience than my website, just because I haven't taken the effort to rehaul my website, make my, make my blog articles look great there. Um, that's one reason. It's a better reading experience for my readers. I send my Medium articles into my email newsletter. I send links to it so people can read it. That's one reason. The second reason is because I'm using medium.com as a way to test uh, which of my articles are more interesting for people. Um, one, a good reading experience. Two, I'm using it to test of all my content, which ones are more interesting for, for the audience. You may have heard me said before, our content is not for us to judge. Your content is not for you to judge. Your content is for your audience to tell you what's good and what's just so-so. And that's how I look at my content. I'm just very agnostic about what's gonna work, what, what, you know, what's not gonna work. So I just let my audience tell me you know, which one. So I use Medium as a gauge of what's really good writing uh, according to what my audience thinks of, of me. And so three articles a week on Medium, and then I, I'll take the one article of the past week or the past month, depending on the time frame. but I'll take the one article from the past, 
uh, once a week to put onto my own website. So my website blog is more like the best of my articles. Um, so anyway, that's oh, and the other reason I put things on Medium.com is because there um, any th there are lots of um, blogger influencers on Medium, meaning popular bloggers tend to put their stuff onto Medium, and they tend to read articles there too. And so there is a chance that you know when you put your stuff on Medium that you could be discovered. Now it's a bit of a long shot, I have to say that. But still, the discoverability is better there than on one's own website. It tends to be that way. So it's good if you're trying to reach influencers and maybe create relationships with them to use medium.com. Um, but what should you do? So, you know, if you, if you have a marketing advisor, a business coach, you should talk to them about what makes most sense for your own business priorities. But I'll say that if you go to medium.com and if you like how it feels, if you like how, you, how things look there and you're really intrigued by it, go ahead and try putting your articles on medium.com and see if you get some traction, see if you enjoy the experience. Um, but yes, I would also encourage you to put your articles on your own website for search engine purposes. I hope this is helpful. I know this was a lot of kind of marketing speak, um, but if you have any questions, I'm always open to them. Feel free to comment below the video and ask.